This is the territory of a special lion pride. True masters of the hunt. A fatal distraction to be exploited. In the natural world, a kill means survival. There is no room for error. The Glade has a new leader. A rogue male lured by the calls of the old lionesses. This male is no stranger to the lionesses of the glade. They know their cubs are safe. He is their father. He left the glade before his cubs were born. To roam the Ruaha River Valley with three blood brothers on the trail of the buffalo. He's returned to his territory and his pride. to draw new boundaries. And to start a new generation of the Glade Pride. The Glade Pride is growing. A new litter of cubs. Only one male among them. His life soon to be tested. Days of innocence quickly pass into memory. 
The cub is now a teenager. And his golden days are numbered. Barely two years old, he's bursting with energy and desire. Misplaced desire. In his father's eyes, the young male plays a dangerous game. Fraternizing with females of the pride is strictly forbidden. This time, the young male oversteps the boundaries. There is no room for two adult males in the glade. With every step, the chasm grows, and a final boundary is set, never to be crossed. The young male is cast out of the pride. The glade lioness diverts the angry father's attention away from the teenager. One last act to protect her son. And so the young exile begins his dangerous journey into adulthood. He has only ever known the safety of the glade. He can still smell his family. They were here. He must resist the urge to follow their scent. If he is to survive, Hyenas, no great threat to a healthy, strong young lion. But everything in this fading light holds new danger. Nothing is familiar beyond the safety of the pride. His calls go unanswered. He'll spend the dark hours in the company of scavengers.
How quickly a young lion's fortunes can change. Mm. while some things remain the same. In Ruaha, there is always the buffalo. And there is always the Inja. An unusual pride seemingly nomadic, led by powerful lionesses. They know the buffalo intimately, and they consider the herd to be their territory. The Inja lionesses travel with their cubs on the trail of the herd, always ready for the next opportunity to hunt. Today, their attention is on a small group of stragglers, lazy old bulls, strong, confident veterans. The bulls seek shade away from the protection of the herd. The Inja lionesses take up position. Their cubs join them on the front line. The bulls don't expect an attack in these soaring temperatures. Time for the youngest to watch and learn. What happens next is for adults only. The Inja breaks cover, pushes the bulls toward another lioness. She sends them back. There's no hurry. The Inja have a plan. Take turns to wear the buffalo down. The Inja lock in on their target. There's always one that's older and slower than the rest. Single him out. Wear him down. Wait for him to falter. Keep up the chase until he's within reach. efficient killers and every kill is a chance for the next generation to learn silence the prey rivals within earshot would fight for this kill and kill the cubs the young eat first
without an adult male in the pride to protect them, the Inja cubs' lives are at the mercy of rogue males. And the rogues are on their way. Three rogue males, blood brothers of the new Glade leader, are on a mission to find their prides. Two stay in the Baobab forest, their territory. The third continues on his march. If he follows the buffalo trail, he will find his pride. The Inja. A familiar greeting for the leader who has returned to make the Inja pride even stronger. In the Baobab forest, the other two males are intent on reconnecting with their lionesses and cubs. The Baobab pride, the biggest pride in all of Ruaha. of the returning males make this young male uneasy. He understands their meaning. Rogues taking up residence in the Baobab forest. He won't dare to challenge their authority. The young male knows he must leave. His departure comes at a crucial time. His mother, the leader and main provider for the Baobab pride, is growing old. The new generation is vulnerable. Is this the beginning of the end for the legendary Baobab pride? Alone and hungry, the young male evicted from the Glade pride steals into the riverbed to drink. The world beyond the glade is a hostile place with unknown dangers for a solitary young male. But to stay in the glade will incite conflict with his powerful father. He must remain on guard at all times. Vultures signal death. Survival overshadows fear. He moves closer.
no lions here. Just a baby giraffe, not long dead. And a mother, not ready to give up her young to scavengers. So far, the mother giraffe has kept the scavengers at bay. But she will not take on a hungry young lion. The first meal in his life he doesn't have to share. Still fresh, he can relish every moment. A gift from the glade and a valuable lesson. Take what you can, when you can. The Inja Pride, Buffalo Specialists, grows stronger. Their male leader has returned. The Inja Pride rests in the heat of the day and allows others to do the hunting. Fearless little lizards, unafraid of the pride because the lions carry their prey. Flies. No time for caution. A feast like this is hard to come by. The lions tolerate the feisty reptiles because they perform an essential service, pest control. The opportunity to hunt giraffe does not come often. Conditions need to be perfect. The male's presence makes the Inja bold. Fearless young lionesses have caught the giraffe. 
the cue for the male to prove his worth. Now, within striking distance, the male waits for the right moment. The decisive leap. Last to join the hunt, He's the first to eat. The young Glade exile has been unable to hunt. He scavenged his last meal. To take on the buffalo herd alone is fruitless. But now, in the tall grass, another lion tries to hunt the buffalo. The young male exiled from the Baobab pride. Fearless or reckless, he doesn't seem to have a plan. The Glade male must make a choice. Remain an observer or join the lone hunter. The buffalo enter the soft sand. A mistake. Lions have the advantage here. Commitment made. The rampant energy of youth unleashed. They have slain their first adult buffalo, and now they know. The only path to survival is clear. Stick together and follow the great buffalo herds, wherever those herds may lead them. Old young lions are bonded for life by the hunt and the kill, without prides, without territories, soon to shadow the buffalo. They are now rogues, blood brothers, like their fathers before them. On a journey filled with promise 
and danger that will lead them far from their birthplaces. It will take them to the mighty river systems of Ruaha, where there are hundreds of other lions. The fight for territory here is fierce. Male lions compete for the same coveted land along precious waterways. The young rogues will need to stick together and look out for one another. But there will be times when they must act alone. When they meet lionesses in other lions' territories. They have yet to experience the consequences of entering forbidden territory. The Glade Exile, now a confident young adult, alone. He has separated from his blood brother to share the company of a female in heat. dangerous liaison. Three resident males are close by. If they pick up the female scent, they will pursue her. And find him in their territory. For three nights and three days, they stay together, oblivious to their surroundings. The males are heading their way. Lured by the scent of the lioness, Resident males are still unaware of the young rogue trespasser. But the discovery of his love nest is imminent. Female knows the consequences. She wants no part of this dispute, and the males are no longer interested in her. They want blood. Three males 
Discover a young rogue in their territory with their lioness. And they won't back down without a fight. The attackers sense the young lion's power. His anger and strength are worthy of respect. He is capable of inflicting serious injury. Today, a warning is sufficient to demonstrate their authority. This is their territory. The male from the glade has survived the ordeal, but his wounds may yet prove fatal. No time to recuperate. He must keep moving. Get out of this place. A wild wind pushes the dry season from Ruaha. scours the land, unsettles the elephants, forces them into the forest to escape the stinging dust. The rainy season is here, transformation for land and lions. The glade is no longer the heart of life. Ruaha is special, a place where lion prides are connected by ancient bloodlines and destinies are determined by nature. The Inja pride they will continue to do what they do best, shadow the great buffalo herds. For as long as the herds continue to roam Ruaha, the Inja lineage will survive. Predator and prey pushing each other to the limits, keeping each other strong. The Baobab pride has reached an impasse. Once the largest pride in all of Ruaha, now only a few remain. The younger lions left the forest to form their own prides. The aging Baobab leader, who once protected her pride, can no longer fend for herself. A 
old injuries that won't heal leave her too weak to hunt, unable to produce milk for her last surviving cub. The end of an era. A new beginning. Five years have passed. And the young Glade exile returns home. The old Glade lionesses are long gone. Strong young mothers have taken their place. The exiled male, now a fully grown adult in his prime, the leader of the new Glade Pride. He has survived the perils of growing up and now has a pride of his own. Cast out by his father as a teenager, one day he will do the same to his sons. They will become part of the ancient cycle of Africa that holds boundless possibilities, danger, death, or their own lion kingdom. The journey ends here. The Glade is now his territory. And his pride is on its way to becoming the largest pride in all of Ruaha, where lions still rule. <laughs>